Okay, so for today's homework, it's Wednesday. You can either log into the HMH Player app and do the 3.3 Comparing and Ordering Rational Numbers homework or the book assignment, which is pages 63 through 64, number 22 through 25. So this is the video helping you get through some of that homework. So this is on your keynote. We're doing independent practice today. So Rosa and Albert receive the same amount of allowance each week. The table shows what part of their allowance they each spent on video games and pizza. Who spent more of their allowance on video games? Write an inequality to compare the portion spent on video games. So Rosa spent 0.4% of her allowance or 0.4 of her allowance, not percent, and Albert spent one half. So we need to change them both to decimals or fractions. So let's do fractions. Actually, no, let's do decimals because it's so much easier. One half is the same as 0.5. So which is more, 0.4 or 0.5? So Albert spent more because 0.5 is larger. And then what you're going to do is one half is greater than 0 0.4. That was super easy. Now, who spent more of their allowance on pizza? Write an inequality to compare the portion spent on pizza. So we have two-fifths and 0 0.25. So let's change them to decimals. So I need to get my two-fifths into a fraction over 10. So 5 times 2 equals 10. Whatever I do to the bottom, I have to do to the top. 2 times 2 is 4. Whoops. So that's 0 0.40, because that could be 40 over 100. And then we have 25 hundredths. So Rosa spent more. So we're going to do 2 fifths is greater than 0 0.25. So who spent the greater part of their total allowance? How do you know? So you have to add their two numbers together. Who spent the greater amount? So we have 0 0.4 and 0 0.4. So how do we do that for Rosa? 0 0.4, 0 0.4, you add it together. 4 plus 4 is 8. Bring down our decimal, bring down our 0. So she spent 0 0.8. And Albert, we have a 0 0.5 and a 0 0.25. So how you do this is behind this 5, you add a 0, and you add them together. 0 plus 5 is 5, 5 plus 2 is 7, decimal 0. So who spent greater? 0.80 or 0.75? Rosa. Rosa spent more. And then we're going to just write 0 0.80 is greater than 0 0.75. That is proof for how we know. So that was the first problem. Let's look at 23. A group of friends is collecting an aluminum, collecting aluminum for a recycling drive. Each person who donates at least 4.25 pounds of aluna, aluminum receives a free movie coupon. The weight of each person's donation is shown in the table. So we have 4.3, 5.5, 6.16, 1 15 fourths, and 4 and 3 eighths. Order the weights of the donation from greatest to least. So from largest to smallest. So I'm not going to do this one for you. But what I'm going to do is I'm going to help you. I'm going to remind you that what you want to do is put each one in decimals, fractions, however you're going to do it. Mixed numbers, inequalities. My suggestion is to put each in a fraction, a mixed number form. So a whole number and its fraction. Because this one and this one are already there. 5.5 and 4.3 are very easy to get there. And then you just change this from an improper fraction to a mixed number. And that will help you. Then you need to decide which of the friends will, which ones of them will receive a free movie coupon and who won't. So who has at least 4.25? And here's a, f a hint. 4.25 equals 4 and 1 fourth. So if they have at least 4 and 1 fourth, then they get the coupon. Would the person with the smallest donation win a movie coupon, coupon if he or she had collected one half pound more of aluminum? 
She needs to say yes or no and why. What would that bring their total to? So that's number 23. Let's look at 24 really quick. Last week, several gas stations in a neighborhood all charged the same price for a gallon of gas. The table shows how much gas prices have changed from last week to this week. So now they want you to order the numbers in the table from least to greatest, so smallest to largest. So again, you're going to do this on your own. If you want to join our live today, we're going to be working through these problems together. But if you are not joining our live, this is where you're showing Miss Wernicke you know what you're doing. Then you need to say which gas station has the cheapest gas this week. So which one had the smallest amount of change? Actually, no, the largest drop. So which one had the largest drop? So the largest negative. So which is the smallest number? And then which gas station changed their price the least this week? And then our last one is 25. Explain how you would order from least to greatest three numbers that include a positive, a negative, and a zero. How would those be ordered? Explain that below. That's super easy. That is on your own.